Okay, so so you had an idea in, in working through this problem that was actually pretty neat, and and you didn't you didn't end up uh, following through it on on it. So I just want to go over it one more time. You both got to, decided to look at these fractions: four over four thousand one, five over five thousand one. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you said, "What happens if I multiply this one by five and this one by four? Five over five, four over four, yeah. looking for a common denominator. Here you get twenty. Multiplying this one by five over five, twenty over." 20,005, and multiply this one by 4 over 4, you get 20 over 20,004. So that means that this one ha this one's smaller. Why? Because this fract this denominator is less. The so denominator is less. So that means you, and then you, wait, 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 let him say. So, so this denominator is less? You need more of 20,000, you need less of the 20,004s to get to one than you need of the 20,005s. Okay, so here we have a common numerator. Yeah. And so sometimes having a common numerator makes things easy to compare because we know 1 over 20,004 is bigger than 1 over 20,005. Yeah. And we have 20 of them both, so that means this one's smaller. Which so means, means... That's smaller. That's smaller, because I remember I just multiplied by 1, right? 5 over 5 yeah. and 4 over 4. And then that means that the original was a 3,996. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, 3,997. Over 4,001 is bigger. Yeah. So sometimes this technique of common numerator is actually really helpful. Yeah. Because what you said in, in the video, when you know the unit fractions, yeah. you know how to compare unit fractions, and this is very similar to comparing unit fractions. So that's an alternate. So we, got, we actually found, you found a different way to solve the problem than you did. And then there was a third way with common, common numerators. Oh, cool. All right. Hey, good work this morning, guys. High five.